we need to work in the in that black environment as well so providing the password now select all the record from employees so that is displayed writing that set line yeah set page size 200 and now writing the query so now it is fine clear so now i'm going to work with the null values what are the null values so remember null is not zero null is the unavailability or absence of some value if you if you define null so no, nothing will be reserved in your computer memory if you write n u double l null in in front of any value so it will not reserve two byte or whatever it will be like that there is nothing no memory location will be reserved no value is there clear so i'm going to show it to you so first of all i'm going to describe uh, the table of employees because there is a column uh, commission exists what is commission commission percentage commission underscore pct that is commission percentage what is commission do you have any idea about the commission if something if someone is getting something extra from his salary from the department according to his uh, um, his shares his partnership in anything in any of the department so that is known as the commission or if suppose let me give you an example of if you are a, a real estate dealer you know what is real estate dealers broker. yeah the brokers if you are a broker so what you are going to do when you are going to uh, make a deal among two among two of the parties so you are going to take the commission from both of the parties clear you you just you just uh, uh, you are just a broker you just uh, make a deal in both of the parties and you are going to receive the commission from both of the parties from the from that one and from the another one also so that is known as commission so we are going to see that in the department is there any guys who are getting the commission is there some of the employees they are getting the commission as well as their salaries salary is fixed all of them they are they are getting their salary but how many uh, employees are there they are getting a commission now i am selecting show me the employee first name so writing the select first underscore name comma show me uh, the job id what is their job comma show me their commission now you have a better idea of commission what is commission so show me their commission percentage from which table from the table employees now you can see here that we have different employees in the organization they are taking the commission 4.4 point 0.3 point 0.2 point 0.25 and the rest of them what about those guys Commission, commission column exists. Look at this one. But for the rest of the record, I, I will execute the same query in the another environment as well. You will see. So, but there are few guys who are getting commission. Commission guys start from John. John is taking the commission, and the rest of them they are also taking the commission. But what about them? There is no value for them. So I'm executing the query same here in this environment. So select first name comma job id comma uh, commission percentage from the table employees when you execute it so you will see let me open a magnifier so when you execute it you will see that donald null he is not taking the commission null is nothing no value absence of the value is null zero is a value i will write a query and you will get a better idea that what is null clear now if you see so downwards there are now from here the people are taking commission clear 0 0.4 percent commission 0 0.3 percent clear 0 0.2 0 0.25 
and so on and there are a lot of guys they are not taking commission null suppose there are some guys they are muslim they are not interested in commission clear commission is considered bad as uh, in the religion islam so might be there are some employees they are working in any organization and they are not interested in the commission so commission column exists because there are foreigners working there as well so what about those guys so they will store null and null is nothing i'm going to write a query and you will get a better idea what is null so suppose this is the commission comma now commission percentage multiply or suppose plus 200 commission clear now this is the same thing which we have done before for calculating now suppose you are working in any of the organization and your boss decided to give hundred dollar or hundred of money or whatever currency there is where you are working so suppose he decided to give you hundred dollar commission to everyone he decided to give hundred dollar to everyone so i write that add hundred dollar uh, sorry two hundred or let me change it to hundred so add the hundred dollar commission to each and everyone's account each and everyone record now when i will execute it you will see what happened i execute it so null plus hundred no. null if it was a zero then it will be hundred it will be hundred so null is nothing clear so nothing multiply by no, anything no. it is still nothing nothing add with Hundreds. something that is nothing zero plus hundred hundred zero multiply by hundred zero that is some value zero is some value when you write zero it will reserve memory location in your system but when you store null now we will go downward and we will see the rest of their records as well those guys who are getting the commission now what are their current values so we will see here look at them they john was taking the commission 0 0.4 when the company decided to give him commission 100 dollar then his current commission is 100.4 clear and this 100 is added to all of the record but when it was added with the null it is still null so that is the concept of null is it clear null is nothing so when you are going to store null so keep it in your mind in the future when you are going to perform calculation it will not be considered it will be still null clear yeah null is nothing absence of the value is known as null simply absence of the value is known as null now example but with a different query i just added the null and now you can multiply the salary and then multiply it with the commission so it will be still null i will write the query and you will know so in the developer environment i am writing that uh, calculate uh, the salary annual salary 12 and then add it with the commission value clear run it so you will see still null and if you see the record of the rest of the guys these are the values clear their annual salary add with the commission the the Curtis Peter they are also getting the salary but, uh, and I also I calculated their monthly uh, their uh, annual salary but when I add it with the commission but the commission value of their record was null so anything multiplied by null is null anything even 100 billion multiplied by null it is null clear even 1 plus null is null clear even the value is a 1 or even it, it is a billion or trillion still none so that is the case that is not a zero if you store zero in someone's commission column that suppose John is an employee of this organization he is getting zero commission it means that currently he is not getting the commission from the company and but his aim his prediction his guess uh, his will is to get the commission in future so if he is going to get the commission in future so when we are going to calculate so 0 plus 100 
he will get the commission but if someone is totally not interested so then we will store null if someone is interested but company is not giving him th at the current time so we will store zero clear so zero is a value null is nothing now let's come to the rest of the slide then here if the set of null we should column alias what are column alias do you have any idea about the column alias yes. yeah you are going to give the second name to the column renames a column heading now is useful with calculation if you are calculating 12 multiplied by salary plus commission what you are calculating the name will be same given on the heading but if you are writing 12 multiplied by salary then you can give it the name annual salary if you are writing anything else so you can provide a better name so that is column alias so it is useful with the calculations immediately follow the column name after immediately we will write after the uh, the column name we will write the column alias for that column name which we are going to calculate immediately after that it is not that you selected two columns and then on the last you write the column alias no immediately after the column name to whom you are going to give the second name so the last and you will use the keyword as you will use the keyword as with the help of that we will give the name it is optional we will see that how require double quotation mark if you are going to print the column alias in lower case in lower alphabet clear you know lower alphabets yes. in a small alphabets then we will write it in double quotation if you are don't if you don't want to write it in double uh, lower case then we will re remove the double quotation so it will be printed in upper case capital letters capital alphabets so we will see how it work so i'm going to use both of them you can use that method as well and you can use that method as well first of all i'm going to use the simple one the first one using the name as so as is optional that is up to you but if you use that is better for readability purpose for understanding purpose so i'm i'm writing a query here let me magnify it i'm writing here that select the last name as double quotation give it the name comma S also select commission or suppose i am using here uh, salary multiply by 12 and this time i am not using the keyword as i am just using the annual now one more thing if you want to give the space always use underscore annual salary from which table from employees now execute it you will see here the name for the name i used the keyword as it is optional but in the second i didn't use the keyword as but still the result is here annual salary clear now if you want to display that in uppercase simply what you are going to do remove the double quotation when you remove the double quotation look at there it is become to uppercase clear if you want to print it in lowercase then put a double quotation and that will be printed in lowercase is it clear now look at the second query what was the second query the second query is the same which I explained clear you can use the keyword as that is optional and you cannot use but if you use that is better that is a better programming practice that is more efficient to readable that is more efficient to understand your query what you are writing where are the column headings clear but if you don't use it still it will work you can directly immediately write the column alias the name of the column the name the second name of the column immediately after the column in double quotation if you write it in double quotation that will be printed in lowercase 
if you don't use the double quotation that will be printed in upper case that's it nothing else and uh, after that we have the concatenation operator concatenation operator inshallah we will discuss that in the next lecture